Well, here's to the first American woman on the moon. Whoever she may be. <laughs> mm. I got the next round. Thank you. Please. So, when do you get off work? Not soon enough. Can we have another round? Yeah. Well, hi. Hello. Bourbon. You and Lady Astronaut over there have been spending an awful lot of time together lately. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'd make a move while you still can there. I mean, chick like that won't be on the market long. And I bet that astronaut tail, it's out of this world. <laughs> Sleep. I'll get her there on time, okay? Just uh, keep this on the QT, will you? Don't worry about it. See you in the sim. You hound dog. Too many last night at the outpost, and Pam just thought it was better if I didn't drive, and her house is closer, spare couch, and all. So it's not like I was on the clock. I was just the two of you are getting sloppy. I'm not sure. What, I don't know. Uh, what are you talking about? You used to be more careful. I thought you had your act together. Are you even spying on me? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but if the bosses find out that you've been lying about anything, they'll interpret it to mean that you could lie about something during a mission. But to cover up a mistake. And from that moment on, they will put you under the microscope, and they will never, ever let you fly. You're overreacting. You have to be smarter than this. Smarter than everyone else, or you're done. Believe me, I know. When we walk into that office, just act the way they're expecting us to. If you can pull that off, you'll be fine. Be fine. Apollo 23 at the hold point to return to our special report. We are down to the final minutes in the vote to ratify the Equal Rights Amendment in the Illinois State Senate, and the tally is very close. Passage of the ERA was declared a top priority of President Ted Kennedy in his inaugural speech. 
and the last two years have seen a flurry of activity as his administration put on a full court press in state houses around the country. As of today, 36 states have ratified the amendment, leaving it only one state shy. Supporters had actually written off the state of Illinois until Republican Governor Ogilvie, in a surprising turn, threw his support behind the amendment early last year, which has created something of a political... Just a moment. And I'm getting word that the final vote is being cast now. And the vote is yay. <laughs> I can see my dad's face today. Last Thanksgiving, we had a huge fight about whether ERA meant we'd have to use the same bathrooms. Oh, it'd be a lot cleaner. <laughs> John Stennis is going to fight the whole women in combat thing on the Armed Forces Committee. Just you watch. He may be a Democrat, but he's still from Mississippi. Yeah. Mississippi, California, whatever. No way Americans are going to watch their daughters march off to war. Believe me. Mm, I used to say that about women in space, too. It's all just a matter of time. It's the Equal Rights Amendment, Pam, not the Gay Rights Amendment. Uh, you can both be as cynical as you like, but the winds of change are blowing. Mr. Wilson, are you familiar with an area of Houston called the Montrose District? Yeah, it's downtown, isn't it? That's right. Do you frequent that area? Have any relatives or friends in that area? No, it's not really my scene. So you've never been to an establishment called the Bayou Landing? Don't think so. The Bayou Landing is a dance hall. Okay. For homosexuals. <laughs> is that right? Huh? We've had it under surveillance for a few months now. The whole neighborhood's turning into a hotbed for radicals and communist sympathizers. Lots of European types, bikers, artists, militant homosexuals. In Houston? An anonymous source reported seeing someone matching your description entering the establishment last Saturday at around 1 a.m. Now, do you have any recollection of that? Me? No. <laughs> uh, I'm a Republican and a Methodist. Don't hang out with a lot of uh, bikers, artists, or militant homosexuals. <laughs> and where were you? Last Saturday? Uh, home in bed. Can you prove that? Ask my girlfriend. That would be... Ellen Waverly. Dating three years. Mm -hmm. Three years is an awfully long time. <laughs> most girls would have dragged a man down the aisle by now. Well, Ellen's not most girls. Besides, it's hard to save for a ring on a government salary. I'm sure you can understand. I think I do. This guy's trouble. I've sailed through 50 security clearances. I know these guys. And this one... This one is just dying to find a... A coven of little NASA fairies to bust. Why does he care so much? The feds see it as a security risk. If you have a secret, the Russians can use it to blackmail you. He'll be talking to you eventually, and he's gonna be looking for ways to trip you up. Don't believe anything he tells you. You can't believe this. I mean, isn't lying to the FBI a crime? Am I going to be committing a felony here? Yes, you are. It 
it's that, or you can tell him the truth and get us both shit canned out of NASA and held up as degenerate perverts before the whole world. Okay. I uh, better get our story straight. Where was our first date? been thinking mm -hmm. maybe uh, we should take a break for a while take a break <sighs> this FBI thing has you all wound up doesn't it yeah something else no, I mean, it's, it's the FBI and, uh... Oh, I don't know. Say it. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. This? Oh. Oh, did you mean, um, this? Well, I don't know. Where would you like it to go? I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure that it can go anywhere. And you know, it... It could be just... Just a... Just a phase. Kissing girls is just a phase for you? Maybe. Yeah, I remember that. Was that eight or nine years ago? I thought it was just a phase, something I'd do for a while, and then it um, then it pass. Then it didn't. It's who I am. I know. I get that. But you still might. What are you gonna? You're gonna grow out of it? No, Ellen? it's not about growing out of it. I didn't say that. I'm just... It's all still very new to me. Sometimes it doesn't even seem like it is me, like I'm someone else when I'm with you. So do I. I feel like someone different when I'm with you. Does that scare you? No. You're aware that I have the power to yank your security clearance and bounce you out of the program. I'm aware that the only reason I'm here is because you think my boyfriend is gay. Which I find both outrageous and offensive. Larry is a red-blooded American man with completely normal desires. And I won't sit here while you cast aspersions on his character. We're not actually here to talk about your boyfriend, Miss Waverly. We're here to talk about you. Me. I can't figure out your story. It's not that complicated. Your mother's New York old money. Your father becomes a pilot in the 20s. You know Amelia Earhart, is that true? And Charles Lindbergh. He starts his own air freight company in the 30s. After the war, he's a self-made millionaire. Starts Cavalier Airlines in 48. He gives you the flying bug. You get a pilot license as a teenager, MIT, aeronautical engineering. Dad hires you at Cavalier, and you work there until NASA starts looking for female astronauts. Doesn't make an ounce of sense. You can't understand why a woman wants to be an astronaut? I can't understand why Ellen Waverly, heiress, aeronautical engineer, pilot, and now astronaut, is with Larry Wilson. He's a good man. He's a homosexual. You're wrong. I doubt it. Why? Have you slept with him? No. Have you? 
I don't think that is any of your business. Tell me about your first kiss. It was at the movies. What movie? Ryan's daughter. What part? When Rosie and Major Dorian make love in the meadow. Odd time to take your eyes off the screen. We were caught up in the moment. I just don't know why you're doing this. I'm not doing anything except trying to keep you from smearing the name of a perfectly good man. You're helping him hide his secret at great personal risk to yourself, your reputation, and your career. Why? Can't figure it. But I will. You better watch out. Better not cry. It's all in the city. He didn't buy it. It's worth a shot. Sometimes the aggressive tag throws him off. How much longer is this crap gonna go on? No way to know yet. But we shouldn't trust the phone. Don't they need a warrant to tap our phones? Uh, Jagger Hoover may be dead, but. Fans are still lawless pricks when it comes to protecting Americans against sexual perverts, so don't trust the phones. Jesus. And back in Washington, accusations of an extramarital affair between President Ted Kennedy and a White House staffer named Mary Jo Kopechny continue to roil the White House today. This follows last week's publication of photographs which appeared to show the president and Miss Kopechny in Palm Beach, Florida last winter. Maybe the FBI should be looking into his sex life.